Number four, arise from spiritual slumber. Arise from spiritual slumber. There's a battle over your soul. There's a battle over my soul. The moment you take your eyes off that spiritual battle, you are in danger. There's something they call the spirit of lust. You are finding yourself lost in, lost in, lost in. Ah, it's time to pray. You can't see any a woman pass. Anything is scared. It's not normal. It's not. It's not normal. I must say, Pastor, that's the way I am. <laughs> eh? Your problem is spiritual. The spirit of adultery and fornication. Adultery and fornication. It's a spirit that destroys somebody quickly. The moment that spirit comes into you, you become a target for God himself. The Bible says God destroys the human being. The fastest way to see the the, 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 weak, the power of God to see that God they call the consuming fire is going to this one. That's why First Corinthians said, know ye not that your body is the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you. If any man defy the temple of God, he will God destroy. It's a spirit. The spirit of masturbation at your age. <laughs> well, pastor, I just don't know what to do. The thing just comes. Hey, it's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's not normal. It's not normal. That's why today I pray that God will deliver you. Yeah. What you consider normal, what you consider ordinary, is not. It's happening in the spiritual realm. The spirit of lying. There are people that, even when there is no reason to lie, there is no reason to lie. But they will still lie. It's a spiritual battle. Lying is not normal, it's spiritual. It's a spirit. There is something they call the spirit of lying. It's here in the Bible. Do you know what God talks, says about lying? So the lying leaves is an abomination unto the Lord. That's what the Bible says. And you are saying, ah, but what's, what's special about lying? <laughs> There's a lot special about it. 